gosh. See you, I worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You trained with weapons formerly, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a good back alley in your movements. All that, and you have your father's eyes, your imperial majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clapper soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. And, and they be placed. At this point, come back in protocol with me. Profile. Playback for combat protocols. Now that your last moment, the playback for The very pinnacle of intention. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. Switching to alternative tactical mode. Combat Play protocol six. Let 
machine has lost its quarry. Sounds like someone's in the building. Should we wait for clockwork? It'll wake up on its own if a fight breaks out. They're blind, but they can still hear. Creepy to know they might be listening to us. Stand clear! <laughs> I'm bringing up the arc pylon! I'd love to see that. Smoking and sketching out new ideas. Huh? Mike spent three months over on the west side working near Lady Pinoli. And that's all it took. Now he's a major. Hey, who are you? Stop! <laughs> you little shit! Later, this can't be! What's no! Noise? Impossible! You aren't going anywhere! Oh, shit! Oh, damn you! Someone's in the building. Should we wake the clockwork? It'll wake up on its own if a fight breaks out. They're blind, but they Stand can still clear. hear. I'm bringing up the arc pylon. Should we wake the clockwork? It'll wake up on its own if a fight breaks out. They're blind, but they can still Stand hear. Stand clear! I'm bringing up the arc pylon! I do No. No more than an into the mansion.
prove you wrong. Supposed to be here. Not yet. Ah! <laughs> Cruelty is this. There's another choice here. Assuming Jindosh's electroshock machine works. Not sure I'd call it mercy. Way back into his criminal profile. Can it be? Is that young Emily Caldwin? Anton, save your strength. I came to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. safer in the carriage, Sokolov. Then, I owe Jindosh a visit.
about regaining your throne. By all accounts, you were quite rubbish as an empress. In the other side.
Okay, at least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh.
Action registered. Entering the back for combat, combat state. protocol. Okay. Oh, right. some silver in your ethereal <laughs> Play back for unambiguous enemy. We can do alternative mode. Play back indicates a young woman. Armed. How in the world? Static. Ah. Static. Oh. Goodbye, Grand Inventor. did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. Let's go then. somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? Games 
rooms in the tower, but at night I go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. We didn't break it. Would you like to tell me what We were just playing. No, Lady Jessamine. What is your account? prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Her sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. I don't know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. A dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's, Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I, I feel, feel my time, time drawing to an end soon. Chindosh wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. 
there's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Mamie. See you soon. Show yourself. You won't get away! Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The 
overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Technical officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Why? Yesterday, the wind kicked up so hard I thought the windmill was gonna fall apart. The wall of light was flickering and sparking like crazy. I've seen that too. But whale oil's expensive now, and the tanks run dry. The wind's unpredictable, but it's still better than a bunch of howlers running through the checkpoint and knifing us to death. Yeah, I see your point. I need to pee. Uh, hey, uh, holy who are you? Stop! Oh, you God, little you shit! Oh, you aren't going in any way! You fucking shit! shit. No. The technical officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Yesterday. They say something's amiss. Well, then I. Um. I'm not in the mood. Yeah. Show yourself. I'll keep my mind. I wonder who that was. Ashworth is somewhere inside the Royal Conservatory. See how you handle yourself. Came by and said it was. 
his body. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. <sighs> All good. Why? Someone there? Yesterday. Huh. Damn. I thought I heard blood flies for a second. Anyone What's here? What's the matter? You took the Over here! All Let's right, go. go! You one. shouldn't have Great. wandered outside without body. Greetings. I'm welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine she is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on. Hey, take a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Keep that nice scarf of yours. Fear. What? Don't let her escape! You have. This won't take. What's going on here? She's bad. I'm not afraid of a bunch of cutthroats. To find out how a sword through the heart wasn't enough to kill our new Empress Delilah. Escape. Silver bullet. 
for the likes of you. <laughs> You should have come. You didn't deserve it. Oh my. Your little toy is useless now. Born into a silk padded cradle. You will never understand what she meant to me. This journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. These odd lenses might be linked to what Ashworth is working on. Thank you. 
This is a special endeavor, important to Delilah. You think no one can harm us, but the Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order are fanatics, dedicated to stopping us. Us. I hope it doesn't interfere with the tinctures. Jindosh and Brianna know what they're doing. Their collaboration is unusual, but it pleases Delilah, and it's Brianna's obsession. So it is there. I'll be down! Don't Don't build my with your hair. Hair. Oh, 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 oh. 